Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'll be doing a review of the Fight to Finish Pro Training Gloves. So stay tuned. Uber up the styles like miles and shit. Like 60s funky worms with waves and perms. Just sending junky bones. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here. And today I'll be doing a review of the Fight to Finish Pro Training Gloves. As you can see, I got these in the black, metallic copper and Tiffany blue color scheme with a Velcro closure and a 16 ounce weight right there. And Fight to Finish is a relatively newer company out of Southern California uh, that specializes mainly in boxing gloves and punch mitts. Um, they yet to venture into headgear or any of the other protective gear like front protectors. Uh, although I'm sure they'll probably venture into that later on down the line. Um, the thing that initially got me interested in the fight to finish gloves uh, was when I was browsing through their website I had noticed that a couple of their gloves um, had in their description that they were made in the United States. Um, so I only know of two manufacturers currently that make uh, their gear here locally in the States which would be Onyx, uh, Trevor Whitman out of, out of Colorado that makes his gear uh, there at his headquarters as well as uh, 1v1 which is also now Adidas. Uh, Jason Nees out there in Florida um, that hand makes all of their uh, custom gear out there. So those are the only two that I know here statewide um, that actually makes the gear here in the state. So when I saw that these uh, would be made in the USA, I was kind of initially interested in that. Um, and I also reached out to Fight to Finish uh, to ask them whether or not they can confirm that their gloves are made in the states. And their response is that it was confidential. So um, I'm not sure exactly what that means by confidential, but and take that for what it is. Uh, one thing I did notice the, immediately right when I pulled these out of the box when I received them is they look identical to Sawboss Pro Series gloves. And I'm actually gonna do a comparison video between these and the Sawboss Pro Series so you guys can see exactly what I mean on how similar these gloves are. So anyhow, let's go on to the five things. Let's start off with the glove design. As you can see that this, this is a mid to compact glove. You have the weight tag right here on the wrist, the standard standard location for weight tags. You have the Fight to Finish logo right here that is embroidered on the wrist strap. You have the Fight to Finish logo that's screen printed on the back of the hand. You can see that the leather is a nicer, shinier quality leather. It's, it's pretty supple. It's definitely not as thick or high quality as, as Cleto Reyes, um, but it is a genuine leather glove, so it's very nice and supple. You can see that it has the beautiful color scheme here um, which is the copper color metallic and the Tiffany blue um, it has an attached thumb as well as a grip bar on the inside with double stitching the stitching they use is white so it has kind of a nice offset to the rest of the color scheme there uh, you can see the palm side stitching there and you can see just the overall profile of the glove it uses a multi-layer foam padding as well. You can see it uses a standard Velcro wrist strap with good quality Velcro right here. You can see that it hooks on nicely. And then on the inside liner has a polyester satin liner that's really smooth as well as kind of a, the warning if you partake in combat sports uh, tag right there. So uh, as well as an elastic band to keep the center section of the glove together when you slide your hands in. Now the quality of the glove is very nice. Um, again, if I were to compare it to any glove, like I said earlier, these would compare to the Sawboss Pro Series gloves. Um, I didn't find any loose stitching throughout, especially on the stress points on the sides of the gloves. And the fingertip is nicely tucked in. You can see that the leather is bonded nicely to the foam. Um, you can see that the stitching on the palm side is done very nicely. The colors are very vibrant. <clears throat> I wish you could see this in real life in person, but this metallic copper has a really nice shine to it. Gotten a lot of compliments at the gym for the actual color scheme of the glove. And I actually would have never thought of making a, a copper with Tiffany blue and black colored glove, but it actually ends up working out and it looks really good. I'm more of a traditionalist. I go with like the metallic blues and the reds, but this copper in the Tiffany blue actually pops really nicely. So as you can see here, all the stitching is done nicely. Uh, the piping along the wrist side is all done nicely. You know, nothing is loose. 
the leather doesn't have any marring or any kind of scratches or bumps on it. It's all smooth throughout. Where the wrist meets the back of the glove right here, you can see that it's, it's nicely stitched as well. The liner isn't a rough liner, it's very smooth. I did notice that on the fingertip on the inside, it bunches up a little bit, a little bit of excess material. I wish they would have kind of flattened that a little bit or stretched it out so it made it a little bit more of a more smoother inside of the finger compartment. Not a huge deal, just a little bit of excess material, which you obviously can't see here in the video, just by putting your hands in, you can feel that. Um, you can see it does have ventilated holes on the thumb. So they did a nice job with that as far as ventilation. Um, <clears throat> but overall, the quality of the glove is really nice. Um, you can see it does have a leather attached thumb. So full leather construction um, and quality is uh, very good, very good. So uh, comfort wise, these gloves are extremely comfortable. Sliding your hand in here. It is a, I'd say a mid to compact feeling hand compartment. Um, I feel like it does accommodate hands of all sizes even if you do have longer fingers that's kind of a, a comment and a question I get a lot of is um, do the gloves accommodate longer fingers and I think these would do a good job of accommodating longer, longer fingers not saying that my fingers are too short for this but the finger compartment allows for my hand and my fingers to rest nicely in there without feeling like it's cramped my thumb positioning on here is optimal as well um, you can feel that my thumb is all the way elongated runs parallel with the thumb it doesn't feel like it jams at the top um, so my thumb is in a nice position and even with my hand wraps on I don't feel like this seam right here uh, pinches down on my thumb to create any sort of pressure the palm is in a good position the width of the hand compartment is good as well with the hand wraps on you don't feel that it's too big and it doesn't shift around as well as the length um, it's not a super long glove it's, you know, it's compact as far as the profile it glows, and it's not too long, so I like that as well. You don't feel that it's a little, you don't feel that it's too overbearing on your hands and it's too big. You could also see the balance of the gloves. It's a really well balanced glove. The distribution of the weight throughout is done nicely, so you don't have a top heavy glove where all the padding is towards the front and there's no protection in the rear. Um, so they, de they not definitely did a nice job with that as well. Um, now the performance of the glove, first to start off would be, it has some great protection along the wrist here. You can see that they use about almost an inch of padding along the wrist to give you that wrist support that you need when you close this Velcro strap. So that has, an, you, can, you, know, you can see that they've done a nice job with that. And then that padding kind of tapers to the palm area on both sides. So they've done a nice job with that. And this uses a multi-layer foam padding. So the outer layer of padding is definitely denser. You can see that me pushing on it, it has a firm density to it, um, which will break down over time. But again, these are pretty much identical to the Sawbox Pro Series. So if you have a pair of those Pro Series and you put those on, you're pretty much feeling what I'm feeling right now as far as the density of the foam. And then there's another layer in between that and then the base layer that is up against your actual hand on the inside is much softer so it forms around your fist to give you a more of a custom feel so you know the more you hit the bag with these and the more you use them at the gym they'll break in and what I mean by breaking in is that your hand will start to kind of conform to the inside mold of the glove and eventually kind of give you a, a, almost a custom fit if you want to call it so these perform nicely um, I'm sure you've seen my video of me using these on the heavy bag um, they offer great protection and give a really good crack. They're comfortable. One thing I love about these, the comfort of this glove is that you feel like you can go longer sometimes if you have a glove that's more uncomfortable um, and you just paid good money for it and you're like, you feel obligated to use the glove just because you, you paid for the glove and you're like, you know what, I need to just break these gloves in. I know it kind of sucks right now because these gloves hurt, um, but eventually they'll, they'll be a perfect glove. With these, you don't feel like you have to really sit there and, and, and kind of go through the process of breaking them in. They already have a nice broken in feel. You can see that I can open and close my hands. And I've used these for about two weeks now. So, you know, they've, they've broken in pretty nicely just for being in the gym for two weeks. So perform nicely. Uh, cost wise, these are $129. Um, so right about there in, in the mid to high range as far as boxing gloves go, uh, which is a fair price considering it, as all leather construction is constructed nicely. It has a very comfortable hand compartment. It's kind of like a, a, the do-it-all glove of boxing gloves. Kind of like the, the, the Chevy Corvette of boxing gloves or bang for the buck. So overall, I'm really impressed with fight to finish as far as this glove goes. 
and, and just the way they designed it and also the color scheme of the glove. Um, so if you guys have any questions, make sure you guys put them down below in the comments box. I'll leave all the info in the description box and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.